welcome back to Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be doing another celebrity haircut, and today it's going to be the Demi Lovato when she had her pixie mullet. So if we look at, I'll put up a picture on the screen. It looks uh, pretty straightforward, you know, very short round shape around the front and the top. And then in the back, she's got some long kind of tenderly, you know, kind of mullety pieces. But uh, I think it looks pretty cool. So let's get started. So we're gonna start with a natural or center part. It's gonna go all the way to the crown, crown all the way down to the center of the nape. From there, I am going to separate the drop crown, which is the bump between the occipital bone and the, and, uh, the crown, and it's that bump right there. So I'm gonna go from the top of the parietal ridge in the back to the mastoid right behind the ear, and that's gonna separate my little mullet section back here in the back. So this is we're gonna start here with our pixie section on the side. We've got everything pinned up out of the way. Get that up over there. I'm gonna take a section that's gonna be parallel to my front hairline, pin all this out of the way, comb this 90 degrees from the head, get my razor prepped, and here I wanna kinda of visualize where it's gonna hit on the ear and where it's gonna hit on the forehead. Pull this section out, get the razor going. Real smooth. Cut that all the way down and through. Check that out, see how it looks. I got one hair there I don't like. Okay, there's our length, I think it looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna walk this guide all the way back until I run out of hair. And by walking the guide, that means adding the same size section to the previously cut section and then holding it in the center of those two sections. Hold that out. There's my guide just dropped out. Razor the angle, <laughs> angle the razor. Cut that down and through, and we've got a thread there. Check. Looking pretty good. Next section, remove the first section. Now I have the second and third. Comb those together, straight out from the head. Using my guide, Cutting that down and through. Please check out all the social media at Jatai Feather. Instagram, TikTok, we got it all. Next section, remove section two. Now I have section three and four. Hold that out. Cut that through. Next section. Straight out from the head. Now we've got a pixie on one side. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, over the ears here, I feel like it's a little too solid. So I'm gonna piece that out a little bit by just channeling through and creating some separation of those little pieces. I'm gonna take a parallel section there, hold that over. I'm gonna hold this horizontally, 90 degrees from the head. There's my guide that just dropped out. And I'm gonna cut that front to back following my guide from underneath. Keeping the shape very elevated, keeping it very nice and round. So not only is it gonna be round this way, it's going to be round this way. Next section. 
tilt the head a little bit so it's easier for me to elevate this where it needs to be elevated. Hold those two sections up. My guy just fell out. Cut that from front to back. Comb the shape down, make sure we're not getting any weight lines. Making sure the shape is round, it's looking good. Continuing on to the next section. Making sure to keep everything as evenly saturated as possible. Tilt the head over. Those, the previously cut section and the section I'm about to cut, 90 degrees. My guide falls out. Work that through from front to back. Our last section on this side on the top. Ninety degrees. My guide falls out. Cut that all the way through to the back. Trying to keep an even stroke on my razor. Looking pretty good. Shape's looking there. We'll have to cut her bangs a little bit more, but we got a nice round shape this way and a right nice round shape that way. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now let's go through and cut the bangs. These are a little long. So I'm going to go through, section the front out, and just basically cut this straight across to the length that I feel is appropriate. Please be sure to give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Also click the bell for future notifications and please subscribe. I think that's looking pretty appropriate. So now let's take the rest of the hair and see if anything sticks over. We got a, a few little whispers of pieces. So I'll just go through and blend those away as well. All right, so our, our pixie's looking pretty good. Now it's time to, to do our little mullet here. And I think what I'm gonna do is go through and cut my length first and then just work on the blend and texturizing this out to make sure it looks soft and pretty. So I'll start. I'm not going to be very, very precise about it. I'm just going to figure out about the length that I want, then go through, roughly chop and point cut the length, keep that texture nice and pointy, and just cut my overall length that I want it to be. And then I can focus on texture and blend with the razor. Come here. There we go. Okay, we got that. 
Now here, it's going to be purely visual. I'm just going to take a vertical section, pin the other hair out of the way, see my length from there, and then just go through and real roughly razor that all the way down to my length. So there's my, my guide. Let's just start real loosely going all the way down to my length. So we got our first piece there. See if there's anything that I don't like. Just kind of get that out of the way. Now I'm not trying to be real precise with this. I want to keep it very loose. And so what I'll do is I'll vary the texture from section to section. So one section I'm going to do very, very, very textured and loose and long stroke all the way down. Then the next section, maybe I don't do so much because I don't want a whole lot of hair back here. I want to keep that real feathered and real soft like in the photo because she didn't have a real hard like mud flap of a, of a mullet. It was very tenderly and very soft. I can only get that with the razor by making sure that I'm using very, very broad soft strokes. Here we're going to channel a little bit so I can leave a few pieces internally a little longer so we can pop some of those out. When it curls, I'm going to take a little of this off down through there, checking it as we go, checking my progress and see, I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. And then I'll just continue on all the way to the other side. Hold that out. Let's go through, channel this one pretty deep. Leave that a little more disconnected to get some tendrils kind of popping out. That's looking pretty good. This is, like I said, purely visual and you're just seeing what looks right, what looks appropriate with the texture of hair that you're working with. You know, anytime that you're trying to do one of these copycat haircuts, the hair that you're working on is really going to limit how close that you can get to the actual shape because nobody's got the same texture as somebody else and especially these mannequin heads. So practice on this, get close, and if you get close, then you've done a great job. Good. And I, again, preventing myself from trying to be too perfect with it. And I think we're looking pretty good. Let's see how we're looking. Yeah. You look kind of like Yolandi. We did more of a bowl cut on you. All right, so let's blow it dry. Take a look and see what we got. All right, so here is our end result. I think it looks pretty good. I think we got the overall shape there. Got uh, kind of a semi-solid bang on her. We got nice and cropped pixie all around through here. And then we got the back really uh, mulleted out, really textured, but kind of in stringy pieces, not just a real solid, you know, what do they call that, a squirrel pelt or a Kentucky mud flap or a Kentucky waterfall, that's what it is. Uh, so I think it looks pretty good. You can obviously modify this as you see fit and based upon the hair texture that you have. So please check out the Jatai Academy. There's all kinds of great information on there as well. And leave a comment below for what you'd like to see in the future. And we will see you next time. Thank you so much. Hey.